Now, 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 let's stand together. For we are in this thing together. The people you meet while you are ascending are the same people you're going to meet while you are descending. Jelemi ebi bioni. We are sana yeketua. Usisi unyua ene. Ochina ebiana oba na obisube sisino. Into uye bibia. Studios to view. The truth is here in your eyes. Welcome to the People Show. It's a great honor once again to be with you, the people of Ghana and the people of the world. Today, I'm going to tell you about Kalabule in Ghana. But before I go into Kalabule in Ghana, I'm going to talk about something that I know you've heard over and over and over again. Now, you've heard that it is a small world. It's really true. No matter how expansive, how vast the world is, it's still a small world. So you be careful about how you treat people. Be careful about how you treat your brother, how you treat your sister. Because you know why? It is a small world. The same people you meet while you are ascending are the same people you're going to meet while you are descending. So remember, if you don't treat people right, you're going to get the same thing. So remember, it is a small world. All right, that should be it for our motivation and inspiration. Let's go straight to the topic. Today, we're going to talk about Kalabule in Ghana. There's, there's a trend. There's, there's something going on currently. People are taking advantage of the economic crisis we are in today in Ghana. People, especially those who are in the market, traders and everything, they are taking advantage. Some are increasing their own, make, creating their own prices and blaming it on the so-called full up uh, prices that have skyrocketed. Kalabule, because we want to take advantage of each other. But today, I'm, I'm here to tell you that taking advantage of a situation to make profit is not going to yield any positive result for you and for all of us. We cannot build a nation where the least opportunity we want to take advantage of each other. If we are going to continue that culture where we want to take advantage of each other with the least opportunity, then it means we're never going to get to the promised land. Because to get to the promised land, we must build a nation where we can support each other, where we can share each other's pain, share each other's joy, where we can collectively achieve something because we feel for each other. But currently, MPP and NDC have created a society that we don't feel for each other because they don't feel for Ghana, nor they feel for Africa. So we have created a certain society where everybody wants to take advantage of everybody. If you take your cars to the mechanic shop, they lie to you, they take advantage of you. If you want to do documents, even passports, driver's licenses, blah, 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 somebody. Now, if you go through the, the channel, you get your passport or your driver's license in a year, or even you will not even find it. So there's always somebody who you have to pay some money to, to go and get it for, done in two weeks or three weeks. There's always something. Why are we creating a society where we want to exploit each other? The society that we want to build is not the kind of society where we are always exploiting each other. We must rather what? Encourage and back each other to rise up, to grow, to develop. Because your greatness is my greatness. I wasn't born when Ghana attained independence, but I know from the literature and from the videos that I have read and seen, when Ghana attained independence, the whole world was talking about how great Ghanaians are and Africans. Why? Because you, the people of Ghana, chose a great leader. 
or he chose a man who had a vision. And that vision resonated with every African on the planet. Whether you are in the Caribbean, whether in the United States of America, whether you are in Australia, whether you are in Germany, or whether you are in Namibia. Everybody felt that this is it. Our time has come. But today, who is the black man in, our, in the world? Why is the African in the world? Why? Because the African leaders that we have are not representing or symbolizing African power. They don't symbolize African power and African dignity. But we must not what? We must not take an attitude, behaviors, cultures, a way of life, a way of thinking that likes or that takes advantage of people who are down or a crisis. Look, let me give you an example so you understand what I'm trying to say. There was one time I was in a taxi where it was about to rain. And a taxi driver said that, um, yeah, it's good. It's good that it's about to rain because when it's raining, he will get dropping, dropping. You know, he, that means people are going to take a taxi and because they don't have a choice. It's raining. You've got to grab one taxi and go wherever you want to go instead of taking a trotro. And he was going to profit from that. So I asked him, why will he do that? Why is he happy that because the rains are coming, he will be able to grab dropping or get uh, charge any amount of money that he wants to because people would like to say in a taxi. That mentality is not going to save us. Kalabule is not going to save us. We need to create a society where we all understand that if one person is going down, we are all going down. Because the sort of society we create will determine how others treat us. If we are taking advantage of each other, then outsiders will come and take advantage of us. That is why today there are nations who come here and come and mine and destroy our water bodies. There are people who come to our country, take away our gold, take away our diamonds, and say to hell with them because they see that you and I are taking advantage of each other. But if we support each other, if we care about each other, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, it will be so difficult for somebody to take advantage of us. The Kalabule must stop. They're taking advantage of situations. Those who have increased their prices using fuel as the yardstick. It's time to stop that. We cannot build a nation where we are all taking advantage of each other. We cannot take advantage of each other and expect to prosper. Because don't forget what I said in the beginning. It is a small world. The people you meet while you are ascending are the same people you're going to meet while you are descending. Jelemi ebi bioni. We are sana yeketua. Usisi unyua ene. Ochina ebi ana oba na obisube sisi no. Inti uye bibia. Jin uye. Uye bibia. Jin uye. Esa goma. Esa Gome, what I'm saying, do you understand? Do you get it? I'm saying that we need to stop taking advantage of a situation, especially negatively. When there's a crisis, some of us take advantage of it. We go and hoard our things, go hoard goods, so that we will sell it. High price, because we're going to lie to the people that their goods, their shortage. But you are the same person. You hoard your goods and then you take advantage and use to double your prices, escalate. Exploitation. Exploitation. Taking advantage of the situation. Making more money out of people's distress, people's crisis, people's vulnerability is not going to help you and I. It is not going to what? Create the kind of society that we believe we, we all dream. Of, 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 of living in. I remember the, the lockdown time. Things were so crazy and people were taking advantage of it. Now we are in a similar situation. People are taking advantage 
of the crisis we are in. Stop the kalabule. Stop hoarding goods. Stop doing the bad things you're doing. Increasing prices. You add your own. And you, you say because what? Four prices have gone up. Stop it. Because you would also be taken advantage of if you are taking advantage of somebody. It's a universal principle. If you are taking advantage of somebody, somebody will take advantage of you. Maybe not the same time, different times, different scenarios, but definitely it would happen. So we cannot endorse Kalabule. We cannot endorse the exploitation. Because if we are going to build a great nation, it starts with you and I defending each other. Do you know it's only when Ghana is at the World Cup that you see Ghanaians together? And even that sometimes there is opposition within Ghana. But let's stand together. It's some few days to come. The World Cup is starting. And we are all supposed to be together. Stand by the black stars. We must stand in spirit. It is not just because it's soccer time that we are Ghanaians or Africans. Now, 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 let's stand together. For we are in this thing together. We must stop the kalabule. We must stop the cheating, the exploitation of each other amongst ourselves. Because if we don't stop that, we are giving foreigners the opportunity to take advantage of us. Let's stop the kalabule. Let's stop the exploitation. Let's stop treating each other badly. Let's rather what? Celebrate each other. Let's celebrate the good. Let's celebrate our strength. And let's harness our strength. Because in that, we would have done what? Build that great nation. You can't just build infrastructure and expect that everything will happen. It takes the spirit of the people. The spirit of the people. That is why somebody said, the true wealth of a nation is not in their gold. It's not in the diamonds. It's not in your manganese. It's not in your uranium. It's not in your limestone. It's not in your natural resources. But in the uprightness of our sons and daughters. Let's stop the kalabule and let's create a nation that we will support each other be there for each other. As we are going to the World Cup, we must stand together, support the Black Stars. That is when we get the victory. But not Kalabule. As for Kalabule, no, 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 no. Let's stop that. Times are difficult, but it is not a time to take advantage of your brother. In their vulnerable times, when we are down, you don't kick a man who is down. So please, I'm appealing to you, Comrade Koleto Bwade is appealing to you that let's stop the exploitation. Let's stop taking advantage of situations in a negative way. We can take advantage of situations, but it has to be a positive advantage, not exploitation, not kalabule, not hoarding goods to sell later at a higher cost. Please, that is not going to help us. Now, as I'm about to end, I want to say something, something that is so dear to my heart that you must reflect on it. Now, you listening to me, watching me, you have the role to play in everything we are doing now. Don't sit on the fence and expect that somebody else will come and build your nation for you. Don't point fingers and say, oh, Ameni Amabafi, Wemu no Meye. No, it's not going to happen. It's going to take you to do it. You to do it. And of course, and me. So let's, let's stop sitting on the fence and stop complaining and do something about our situation. Action. Action is the only thing that is going, we are, is going to happen before our situation will turn around. But not just mindless action. Deep thought. We we'll think deeply about what we want to do. And we step in with courage, with vim. And we will build our great nation. Thank you. My name is Kolete Obuade. And this has been the People's Show.
I'll be right back next time. But remember, let's stop the Kalabule. Studios to view. The truth is here in your eyes.